The courthouse steps is a traditional quilt block that is close cousin to the log cabin. Today I'm going to show you how to make this simple block and how to use it in quilts. Welcome to Eva Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pajagi and embroidery. So the courthouse steps quilt block is a traditional block that has a lot of similarities to the log cabin. They both have a center square and strips of fabric that go around the center square. But where the log cabin has a center square and the strips rotate around it, in the courthouse steps, strips are added in pairs onto opposite sides. So I'm gonna be making a 12 inch finished block with two colors of fabric but this block is really easy to customize in different sizes and to make with different fabric combinations. So if you're looking for more information, you can click the link below for more details about that. But let's get started with this. So to make this 12 inch block with two different colors, you're gonna need these pieces with your fabrics. So start with the three and a half inch square, and this is going to be the middle of the block that the rest of it is based on. And then if you're alternate fabric, you're gonna need two two inch by three and a half inch strips. Then from both fabrics, you're gonna need strips two inches by six and a half inches. And then from both fabrics, again, you'll need two each of strips, two and a half inches by nine and a half inches. And then only if your fabric one, the same as the center square, you're gonna need two strips, two inches, by 12 and a half inches. So once you get all these pieces cut, then you're gonna be ready to begin sewing. So begin with your center three and a half inch square, and then on opposite sides of that, you're gonna add the two inch by three and a half inch strips of fabric. So once you've joined them, it's gonna look like this, and press the seams away from the center square. And then once you've done this, Take a second just to measure it and make sure that this piece should now be six and a half inches. And if it is slightly more or slightly less, you can take this time to adjust your seam allowance. Taking the time to do that at this step will help make everything else go together easily. So once we've done this, then on the other opposite sides, we're gonna add the fabric one, six and a half inch strips. And if your seam allowance is correct, they should fit perfectly and we're going to add those. So once those have been added, again, we're gonna press away from the center square. And all your seams are gonna be pressed in this direction, away from the center square, regardless of light and dark fabric. And this will just help keep everything flat and smooth, especially in these parts where there's multiple seams lining up. So once this is done, then you're gonna go back to your fabric two and add a strip onto opposite sides and then fabric one, add strips onto the opposite sides again. If you lay out all your pieces ahead of time, you might see them in something like this and you might panic and think they're the wrong size because they don't line up, but that's because of the seam allowances. Once they've been stitched together, then the pieces will be the correct size. So don't panic if that happens. Just continue along in this way, adding the color one pieces on one side and the color two pieces on the other side. So once you've added all your pieces on, you'll have your finished block. It looks like this, and it'll be 12 and a half inches square. So in the final quilt, it will finish at 12 inches square. So this block is a really versatile block. It can be used in a lot of different quilts. But the one thing you'll notice is it does have a bit of similarity to an hourglass block. So this block can be substituted anytime you would wanna use an hourglass block, which is made of four quarter square triangles. If you're looking for more ideas for using the Courthouse Steps block in a quilt, be sure to check out my workbook, Courthouse Steps Inspiration. This includes a tutorial for making the block in different sizes, um, inspiration pictures of different layouts of quilts with this block, 
and it also includes um, coloring pages for so that you can design your own quilts using this block. For more information about this and other quilting resources, tutorials, and patterns, be sure to check out my website, evenistudio.com.